I'm Kyle Hollenbeck, and I fight for glory. My name is Kyle Hollenbeck. I'm from San Francisco, California, uh, United States of America. The Glory Series is the top of the top. The reason you get into the sport, it's for the love of it. So, and the reason that you get you love it is because you're allowed to test yourself and and become to see how how strong you are internally and externally. So having that ability to fight these these top level guys is a way for me to test myself and push myself, which is what I always wanted to do with the sport. I have a brother who, who trains uh, traditional karate, and I was looking for something to do to kind of use up the energy that I had. I was a pretty wild kid, uh, getting into trouble and stuff like that, so needed a little outlet for the extra energy I had and directed towards a positive as ra rather than a negative, which is where I was headed. My attitude, my personality has changed completely. I'm more humble now and as opposed to what I would have become. Um, I needed a, a steady, steady foundation to build my life off of. That, came, that became kickboxing. Please welcome 24-year-old Kai Hollenbeck. 69.9 kilograms for Kai Hollenbeck. You going with the uh, don't hit a guy with glasses routine tomorrow? What's up? <laughs> Something like that. What, is your, what are your thoughts on being in this uh, tournament and facing a fellow American in the opening round? Uh, happy to be here. It sucks that I have to go into uh, some of my own country, but um, got to do what you got to do to get to that final eight. It's that discipline to eat right and get up and train when you rather stay in bed and sleep and it uh, kind of teaches you how much you really want to fight. Like if you really want to fight as bad as you think you do, how much are you willing to sacrifice to do it? When I first started I was I was really antsy, always nervous for a fight, always jittery and couldn't sit still but then you waste all your energy in the back of the and then when you get into the ring you are out of gas already. So uh, over the years fight and fight and I learned to just relax, try not to get too over overexcited and uh, Save all my energy for the for the actual ring. Kai Hollenbeck, World Team USA, a WMC Intercontinental Super Middleweight Champion. He was also the 2011 WBC Intercontinental World Champion. A up and comer, a veteran of over 30 fights. Don't go out, go out there and pick and, and move around and pick and move around. Just go out there and try to blow the guy away. Really go out there and get aggressive. Well, most people when they they see a fighter, they see him at the moment when he's in the ring and he's fighting everybody and there's a ton of people around him and they, they assume that that's how it is all the time where you're surrounded by all these people, but really it's you in the gym. A lot of times it's you by yourself. It's really a personal experience when you're training and getting ready for a fight. The fight itself has a ton of people watching, all eyes on you, but other than that, your entire existence is pretty much you in a, in a bag or you and a partner training a one-on-one -on -one or all by yourself, you have a lot of time to think. I, I would consider myself a cerebral fighter, but uh, I blame it on my, my family, they're all doctors and, and teachers and stuff, so I'm the, I'm the oddball with uh, fighting, so if I, if I have to be a fighter, at least I'll be a smart fighter. I'm, I'm, I'm a shorter guy usually than the guys I'm fighting, so it's uh, more conducive for me to be inside tight than outside long. I'll take away his uh, his advantage by being on the inside. Frozen in his tracks. Six. So Six. quick right hook. The best pu knockout punch I ever had, I didn't even feel it. It just felt like nothing. You just feel like you don't connect on anything because you're hitting so hard that all that power is going to go straight through your hand and into their head and there's really no recoil. No connection feeling because they just go completely limp. So nice straight punch right to the chin and it doesn't feel like you even hit him at all. They're just all of a sudden on the floor. Hollenbeck, I'm sure, wants to pounce on Corley as quickly as possible. That right hand has been such an effective weapon thus far. Why not throw it again? And Hollenbeck all over Corley like a bad rash and the referee has stopped the fight. Red corner, Kai Hollenbeck! I, I used to not have such such heavy hands, but it's been, I think as you get older, you get denser or something. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but for the last couple fights, I've been pretty heavy-handed. 
it's good to have that power to scare people, like make them a little bit nervous so that you know, they know that at any second it could be over, but you still have to hone the rest of your game, otherwise you're one dimensional. What'd you think of your performance tonight? 46 seconds worth of action here. Uh, I feel good. We're friends outside of the ring, so I'm glad no, he's not hurt and I'm not hurt, so. Just, uh, I'm gonna show uh, everybody that America is someone to be reckoned with. What kind of style are you gonna bring uh, in the next round? Same, same kind of style, that fast-paced, reckless abandon, because I got nothing to lose. All these guys are a lot higher level than me, supposedly, so it's uh, my chance to just go out and have fun. All right, congratulations from the United States of America, your winner, Kai Hollenbeck. And Kai Hollenbeck finds that aggression works to a T here tonight. One of the toughest shots I ever took was a, a leg kick that, uh, Nearly floored me. Um, it was by a guy named Simon Chu. Uh, it was a guy I fought in Las Vegas, and he clipped me right on the right on the sweet spot, right right above the knee, and uh, got me once. And it felt bad, but in my head I was like, I can deal with this. Got me a second time. That hurt like crazy. He did it one more time. I said if he does it one more time, I'm going down. That's the end of the fight. Um, there's a, but at the same time, in your head, while that's going on, that's all internal and outside your. Stone face, poker face, you don't want to show anything. So all that pain and anguish is going on inside my body, but outside it's, it's completely stoic. It's time for glory.